Hey guys, Multiclass Gamer here. Welcome back to more Banjo Tui. We are here in Atlantis, and I just wanted to say before we start that, you know, if you're ever like really stressed out or, you know, you're just you're really nervous about something, like I am waiting to hear back from this job, you know, see if I got it or not, um, try listening to this music. It's very calming and very soothing. There's more music actually in this world that's, you know, soothing and calm, just like this song. You know, like inside what's called the Seaweed Sanctum, which we'll be seeing here in a little bit. Um, right here, this sea urchin right here, or whatever these creatures are called, actually has the Treble Cleft this world, which puts us up to 100 notes in Jolly Rogers Lagoons. There you go. And it should be long until we're actually seeing the uh, last of the notes in Isle of Hags. So now it'll be easier to tell if we have all the jiggies in the world or not. But anyways, we opened up this uh, palace here in the last episode, so let's go outside and see what's in here. See what's going on. See what's going down. I should be, you know, whenever I'm voicing those pigs that are in this in this world, I should be making honky noises, but I just can't do it, man. My voice can't do it. Oh, there. All right, I'm Chris. Chris, not very pig-like, if you ask me. Actually, it's Chris P. Bacon. <laughs> oh man, what are you doing, Mr. Bacon? I'm on vacation trying to photograph those lovely paintings on the wall down there. Sounds fascinating. Oh, it is, but these awful fish keep attacking me. Why not get a spear gun? This camera was too expensive. I had no doubloons left. I got some four. I got four right here if you need some. Protect me, protect me while I'm down there? Uh, sure. Right then, if you could just follow me down to the bottom. Well, geez, it's like the fish wants a crispy bacon or something like that. Yeah, it must be hungry for some bacon. Uh, stop making jokes, dude. Stop it already. Rare already made the joke, so you don't need to. So stay in this right one spot right here, and you in this minigame will be plenty easy for you. Hope you're ready. Here they come. So get your blue eggs out here. And we're going to just keep a lookout for these fish here. So as long as you stay right here at the entrance, you will have no problem getting all the fish, because there's gonna be there's not gonna be any that appear directly behind it, um, because the game expects you to actually just uh, go circling around the cage and get them that way. But it's not recommended. It's just see, it's a lot easier just standing here at the entrance. And you'll be good to go, especially when you have the homing spell on. You know, it makes it a lot easier. So some of them will appear directly above you. Those might be harder to get, but you know, again with the homing eggs, this becomes a lot easier. So it's worth knowing, knowing that, I suppose. Uh, but you only have to do this for like 30 seconds or so, and then you're done. It's pretty, pretty fairly easy, Jiggy, to get. Oh, did I say Jiggy? Well, I guess I already spoiled what our reward is here. Oh well, it don't matter. Okay, oh, that guy almost got him. Jeez. Kind of close here. There's a lot of fish. I think that will do it. I'm off back to the surface. I guess worth noting too, they've got UK shorts on. In case you forgot where where, where I was based. At least at the time of uh, you know the scene coming in, obviously. I got all the shots I needed. Perhaps this thing I found earlier may interest you. A jiggy? Nah, those those don't interest me in the very least. Well, I'm off to get these pictures printed. Bye. And see you later. I didn't even see you taking any pictures, but whatever. And again, I don't know a thing or any. I don't know anything about the cameras from 2000, so I wouldn't be able to tell you. Very early 2000s, I should say. All right. So I apologize if my commentary seems a little, you know, calmer than usual in this episode. It's, you know, again, I'm still in that sugar rush from the last episode, so. I apologize deeply, or sugar crash, I should say. So we've uh, pretty much seen all there is to see of this, uh, you know, open, open area of Atlantis, but there's a lot more to it than that, you see. Yeah, you know see. So first, we're gonna head on the left here. He's obviously going back would take us back to the uh, entrance of the uh, sea. Actually, you're gonna want to I you know the octopus to freeze here. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, it's a little touchy with the spots you have to hit. There we go. What, dude? Okay, yeah, you can still get stunned even even when the octopus is frozen. You can still get a little stunned if you touch the tentacles. Be careful. Um, so in here we have a sunken ship. 
And there's actually a warp pad above this, so you're not going to want to miss that. Not in the slightest. Okay. But you're going to want to- Oh, dude. I don't care. I don't care about your stupid warp pads. I just wanted to activate it so it's there. In the future. For reference. So inside the ship here, we've got some very well-hidden goodies, including... Oh. Need a grenade egg for that. There you go. Inside, there's a Jinjo. Ooh, well, the nine black Jinjos, too. That's cool. Now, inside here is actually this. Ooh. I wonder if this is the one I'm thinking of. Hopefully it is. Let's press C and find out. Oh, we gotta get out of the first person first. There you go. There we go. Let's go inside here and see where this pipe leads. There's some pipes in this world that actually lead to other worlds, like, including the one that we went to with the waste disposal thing. Oh, this one goes to Glitter Gulch Mine. And you know what? This is actually the one we wanted. This is the pipe that I wanted, actually, because you may recall, way back in Jolly Rogers Lagoon, there was a Jinjo we could not get to because it was on top of a pipe that can only be accessed from Jolly Rogers Lagoon. This is where this pipe comes in. Be very careful about these uh, propellers, though. Because you need you need to freeze them with ice eggs in order to get through. It's going to be inside any, every one of these pipes that we find. So, be aware of that. So you don't want to go rushing through these these pipes too fast, or else you're going to get sliced and diced real quickly. Here it is! The Jinjo we could not get before! Now we have every single Jinjo in Glare Gulch Mine. That's it. Do not jump off this pipe. Just head back on up and head back into Jolly Rogers Lagoon. Otherwise, you're going to have to make your way all the way back there from Isle of Hags. Because, as you probably know by now, there is no train station in Jolly Rogers Lagoon. Well, actually, I never mentioned it, but yeah, that's how it is. I guess you didn't get a chance to know because we haven't seen all the world yet. But yes, there is no train station in Jolly Rogers Lagoon, so be aware of that. There's also no train station in Mayhem Temple, if you didn't know already. So yeah, certain, it does, the train's not going to take you to every single world in the entire game, but it will take you to most of them. So there you go. Alright, now... Let's head through here, see where this leads. This actually, this, sec, this underwater section of Jolly Rogers Lagoon is not as big as it might seem, it really isn't. Okay, so we're here at the sea bottom. I think I know where this is, actually. And it's actually a very important room that we don't want to come back to much later. Uh, but, uh... So anyways, head through here. Man, I'm having this urge to play Zoo Tycoon 2 lately. I haven't played that game in a long, long time. I think last time I played it, I was in my studio apartment, or even my last dorm. So, yeah, I kind of want to get back to playing that again. Okay, so there's a bunch of lockers in here, and, and all a lot of these lockers, all except for one of them, are actually named by staff members who made the game. There's M. Wilson right there. Um, uh, D. Passion Pashut. G. G. Males. Uh, K. Connell. S. Hurst. Yeah, these are all developer names. F. Machekek. Sorry if I didn't, don't pronounce the name right. Some of the letters are hard to read, too, so keep that in mind as well. And uh, we got some on the floor, too. Like W. Bryan here. Yeah, they got the first names, like the first initial and then the last names, which is kind of odd. S. Malpass. But yeah, I guess it's because uh, it's probably how it would be in a Navy or something. I don't know. I don't, I'm, I've don't. never been in the Navy or anywhere that you typically have lockers with names on them, but I'm assuming this is what they would look like. And finally, Gmails. Oh, wait, no, there's one more right here. This one is D. Jones, as in Davy Jones. You know, Davy Jones' is locker that I learned about from SpongeBob? That can't be it. Well, yes, it is. And you're going to want to keep that locker in mind for later. Not right now, but for later. Well, yeah, for now, but you're not going to want to. Well, if you want to, you can go inside and see what's in there, but let's just say it's something that I'm going to put off for a little bit. Um, here's another one that's transparent fish, but this one is not important to us. It only contains a bunch of feathers. This one contains eggs. But there's still two more out there that I do believe that have contained other important stuff inside them that we're going to want to come back for later. Now, there's not really anything else important to this room, but there is, uh, over here, worth noting, a hole that leads very, very deep into the ocean. 
And Banjo and Kazooie cannot go down there. In fact, it'll tell you you can't head down there. Stop! The water pressure is far too much for you down there, Banjo. Yep, so you're gonna want to stay out there. I mean, like, it should be obvious that the only way we're gonna be able to get down there is in a different form, if you know what I mean. So we're going to head back here later and just keep this in mind for later. Luckily, we have our war pad activated, so we don't have to... Uh, won't have to travel all the way back over here later on, but at least we know the way anyways. Now, in here is another important room, I do believe. Let's get our ice eggs and get this guy out of the way. There we go. Dude. Yeah, it's really annoying how it, like, uh, changes your view when you're... When you hit the octopus. Oh, yep, here it is. Yep, see that fish right there? That fish is very important. Very, very important. As far as you're concerned, it's Mini Clanker. So that's your hint for today. And this is the final war pad of the world, I believe, I think. Is it? Yes, it is. That's all five of them. Wow, this thing's huge and very freaky. It really is. But it's actually not as dangerous as you think it is. In fact, actually, for once, you could just leave him alone. Uh, wow, I didn't know there was an above ground area, above water area here. In fact, actually, there's more up here. That's probably what I'm thinking. I think that's a seaweed sanctum, actually, right there. We're going to. Uh, why not? Let's go. Let's go in there, actually. We'll, we'll deal. We'll deal with Mini Clanker later. So here is, if I'm not mistaken, yes, this is the seaweed sanctum. Okay, I was wondering where this was. Oh no, so it's the, this this actually puts you at the very top. That's weird, okay. Well, I we might as well uh, go and check out the rest of it. Yeah, some, there's some seaweed, seaweed in here that is that there are monsters and others that are not. So, just be aware of that. Be mindful of that if I haven't already told you to be aware of other stuff. Um, up here we have a Jinjo. Definitely worth noting and picking up, obviously. I think that's all the gingers in the world, actually. Let's take a look. Oh no, it's one, one more ginger, okay. But yeah, this is actually the very top of the seaweed sanctum. I don't remember where the uh, very bomb of it leads to, but I guess I'll be finding that out, won't I? I guess so. Let's go inside here and find out. Oh wait, I saw it. What does this say? Davy Jones holds the key to the lockers. Oh, really? Does he? How about that, huh? Actually, the, the reason why he says that is because Davy Jones' locker is actually kind of important, so... Uh, I don't need to say it again, obviously. My most, uh, obvious... My most, uh, My most... Common phrase I've been saying here. Oh, so that's where it leads to, okay. That explains a lot. Okay, well, let's let, go ahead and head right here, see where this leads. I'm actually kind of curious. But obviously, next thing we're going to want to do, actually, is take care of that uh, mini clanker, as I called it. Well, it's kind of what NCS called him, too, but yeah. Okay, so in here, you can already hear a globo. Globo. There he is. So it's both globos for this world. Now, right there is another... Transparent fish that contains nothing, okay. I thought there was another one here, wasn't there? Nope, I guess not, okay. But, however, inside here is, uh, Wumba's Wigwam. Now, this particular Wumba's Wigwam actually contains, uh, our transformation. Well, obviously, duh, transformation, obviously. We know about that. Um,. But that transformation is going to allow us to take care of what's inside that, that sea bottom. And you know what? We might as well take care of that now because, uh, well, next, because we're at the end of an episode here. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and take care of it because I think there's only one thing you can do. Well, there's two things technically, but you don't need to be in that form to do the second thing. It can be Banjo Kazooie, so. We'll just use the submarine for that uh, sea bomb key thing, and we'll do that next time on Let's Play Banjo Tooie. So, see you guys, and thanks so much for watching. Goodbye.